Hey everyone, Jason from Maycare here with another Carvera Air tutorial video. And in this one, we're looking at how to install the optional fourth axis module on our Carvera Air desktop CNCs. The optional fourth axis module with harmonic drive system allows us to create detailed and geometrically complex parts using the fourth axis in addition to the standard features of our Carvera Air desktop CNC. This opens up near limitless possibilities as we create a wide range of parts and intricate designs using a wide range of materials. As you unbox the fourth axis module, you will find a quick start guide, wrenches, sample epoxy stock, and a plastic wire clip assembly in addition to the rotary module. To get started, we first need to adjust the headstock as it is compressed for shipping purposes. To do this, loosen the four screws around the headstock but do not remove them fully. Then slide the headstock so the leftmost edge aligns with the base plate as shown in the quick start guide. Once aligned, tighten the four headstock screws. Before installing the fourth axis on your machine, ensure your Carvera Air is powered off and that no waste board or clamps are fixed to your Carvera Air's bed. Next, install two dowel pins in the preset holes towards the front of your bed on the left and right edges. Then carefully lower and align the module with these pins. Next, secure the module in place using six M5 by 20 screws. Loosening the tailstock so it can slide freely makes this a little bit easier to do. We then need to install the clip included with the module to hold the fourth axis cable in place during machining. To do this, remove the machine screw in the rear left corner of your Carvera Air, then fix and adhere the clip to this point with a longer machine screw that is included in the kit. Once the clip has been installed, you can thread the fourth axis cable through it and plug the fourth axis module into the leftmost port under the X axis in the back left corner of the machine. Make sure that you open the dust cover first before attempting to plug in this module wire as shown. Lastly, power on the Carvera Air to reset and home the fourth axis. Once connected to your Carvera Air, you can check the functionality of the fourth axis module by using the command check underscore fourth in the MDI window. This will rotate the module to set positions to check its travel ability. You can also manually jog or rotate the A axis of the module using the jog controls in the controller app and set the home or position of the fourth axis using the A axis dropdown along the top toolbar of the Carvera controller app. And to secure a typical piece of stock like the epoxy tooling board that we use in our fourth axis example, it's always a good idea to find the center position of your stock first. We also recommend drilling a small hole at the center position to make alignment a little bit easier and more accurate to do. Now we always want to power off our Carvera Air before we loosen the chuck and install any stock. To load stock into the fourth axis, we can loosen the chuck of our rotary module using the two wrenches provided. We also want to loosen the set screws on the tail stock, but we do not need to remove them entirely. First, loosely place the part into the chuck, then slide the tail stock so it makes contact with the center hole that we drilled into our stock. Tighten the two set screws on the rail of the tail stock so it cannot loosen. Next, tighten the chuck jaw so the stock is held securely in the center of the chuck. Then rotate the knob on the tail stock to press and secure our piece of material, and then tighten the set screw at the top of the tail stock to lock it in place. We also typically rotate the stock so that the corner aligns with the vertical axes or up and down as shown in the example guidebook. And the chuck jaws can also be installed in two different configurations for two different types of stock. To remove the chuck jaws, loosen the chuck all the way. Note as you get closer to the outermost position, the chuck will become tighter and harder to rotate. Carefully wiggle the jaws as you loosen the chuck so they can be removed. Each jaw is numbered one through four. For the default configuration, which holds larger stock, we must load the jaws from four to three to two and to one. For the alternate configuration, which holds smaller stock, we must load the jaws from one to four. As you load the jaws, you may need to wiggle them by hand to first seat and thread them onto the chuck. And before running any jobs using the fourth axis, we also have to prepare our tool head. We always want to remove the dust shoe when using the fourth axis and also secure the hose pipe and the clip on the front of the Carvera Air's tool head. And you could also take advantage of the air assist for chip evacuation and cooling whenever you're machining metal parts using your fourth axis module. You can connect your compressor or pump via the port on the back of the Carvera. The air assist nozzle pressure can be adjusted by first pulling the blue knob outward, then rotating it to increase or decrease flow. The angle of the nozzle can also easily be adjusted as well. Within the config and run window in the Carvera controller app, 
we should see that a fourth axis is set for the work origin menu whenever a fourth axis file has been loaded into the controller. We want to set the X offset relative to the right edge of the fourth axis headstock, while the Y offset can be set to be zero to center the part in the fourth axis in the Y direction. Scan margin can always be enabled, which will trace the length of our part using the laser pointer built into the wired probe before machining, and Auto Z probe should also be enabled, which will be set to a fixed position for the fourth axis module. Auto leveling is not used for fourth axis designs. Once manufacturing is complete, you can clean off the part using a brush or vacuum and always turn off the Carvera air before loosening the chuck and set screws to release your part from the rotary module. And that's all there is to it. By attaching the fourth axis module to your Carvera air, the types of projects you can now create is near limitless as well as the type of materials and versatility that you can manufacture with your desktop CNC. Of course, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more projects and guides on the Makehara channel and Wikisite.